Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. That was some that was a very long pause that I won't <laughs> reference in relation to anything else that we know of. Um hi. <laughs> we are uh, you know what? I'm doing this backwards. I don't care. We're the Brohawks. I'm Dave. He's TJ. Oh, and yeah, there we go. As you can see, <laughs> we have a very special guest with us. Uh, we have more and more fun from the club's bracket. Uh, Emily White is joining us. She's in today's episode. I have not watched today's episode, but our group Nor chat have has been talking about it. So I heard that it, it seems like it's another really good one. So mm -hmm. no spoilers. But Emily, welcome to the show. Thanks. We're happy to have you here. Uh I, no spoilers for this episode, but tell us about your Jeopardy journey. When were you originally on, and what my, was it like to come back? My Jeopardy journey. So I was originally on um, in uh, June of 2021, so we taped March of 2021. So that obviously was back in the COVID era still. Uh, so it was quite a bit different. Um, lots of social distancing, lots of masking. Um, you know, we had to come hair and makeup ready. They weren't allowed to do more than give us a powder puff to to um, freshen ourselves up and de-shine. Um, so that was that. Um, oh, hello, Kat. Oh, hello. Um, my first... Yeah, your little... Everybody's got their little black bag with a powder puff and, and hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah. Those oh, sanitizer. Hi, kitty. I see so, you. This is, this is Sid. His brother is Roger. Uh, they were my first uh, Jeopardy anecdotes because um, Roger plays fetch. Um, but um, so I was on in uh, June of 2021. I uh, was with Savannah Guthrie. Um, she was lovely. And I ended up winning uh, two games of Thursday and a Friday. I uh, came back on Monday. Um, so it was the next tape day. Uh, got my butt kicked on the buzzer. Uh, but I had a good time. And I figured that was that. <laughs> so, so I figured that was that. So I went home, head high, won some money. Um, it was a good time. Um, and then, you know, they started floating around this champions wildcard thing. And I'd gotten a call from John Barra, uh, from the contestant, uh, crew about it. And, um, really, um, <laughs> he had, we're in, uh, with, we're in love with Sid. He's killing it. So you're oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's very handsome. Uh, um, by the way, are these, are these Pink Floyd references? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Oh, Just yeah. had to make sure. <laughs> oh yeah, Sid Barrett said Perrett. Um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, so John called me and talked to me about it, and uh, I kind of I was sick uh, at the time, and I kind of like answered the phone in a daze, and I was like, oh, okay, well that sounds great. Check with me on the dates, but then I was like, oh, there's this strike going on, so I don't want to do this. Um, I don't want to cross a picket line while the writers are striking because I'm a writer and a communicator, and so it would be kind of antithetical to antithetical to everything I stand for. And so basically I said, Hey John, sorry. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I can't do this. Um, you know, and he, and he was like, Oh, nope, nope, no problem. We'll circle back. And, you know, I thought that's just, you know, nice. It's a courtesy of him to say, I, I didn't figure anything would come of it. They'd fill people up and do it and whatever. Um, and so the day after the strike got resolved, then I got another text from John and he's like, Hey, uh, still interested. I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so long story short, I joined the club's bracket and a couple weeks later I was on my way to LA um, to do Jeopardy again, which was kind of amazing. <laughs> so Absolutely. that's that's all she wrote. And so I got there on Monday, taped on a Tuesday. Um, and um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we'll find out what happens. We'll, and find, we'll out. find out, out what how, happens in a minute. How many here. more days you taped? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you stay at the Shea as well? Did they put you guys up there? That's the same. Yeah. How Ooh, fancy. Lovely. Love that place. I walked in in like uh, off a five hour flight in like leggings and a big t shirt. And I walked in, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm way underdressed. Everybody's walking around in nice suits and stuff. I'm like, wow. And then I got into the room and I was like, well, okay, I, 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 can, get I can get behind this. This is great. Um, it was most definitely the nicest hotel that I have stayed in. in probably I, I, most of my life, if not all of it. I walked in and I was like, <laughs> oh, well, I got to pretend to be fancier than I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Which for is sure. hard for you because you pretend to be pretty fancy. I pretend to be fancy <laughs> all of the time, Davide Rapatoris. You're right. So it felt real good. 
I it's been, the, yeah. it, it's been a while since I've been anywhere that fancy, so I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. I also love that you you talked about the the powder puff um, sort of bag that they gave you because all of us, right, in season 37, 38 know that bag. And I, like many of us, like had the, the tendency to want to save it. I don't know why. Like, what the hell? Because it had my name on I it. Still it had my bag. badge on it. I still have mine. So, friends, I finally, you know, I cleaned my apartment in July. And uh, at the, the, on August 5th, I was like sitting in my clean apartment and I was like, you got to let this go. You got to let it go, bud. Like, it was three years ago. What a great time. You got to let it go. Who needs a crusty powder puff anyway? You got to let it go. And so I threw it all away. And the next day, John called. And I was like, oh. So that was wild. Because I was Universe. like, I just let it go. Right. And then they're like, just kidding. No, no. Oh, my, You're back. Oh, awesome. yeah. my gosh. That's cool. <laughs> like, I'm getting a new powder puff. <laughs> I was literally thinking, I was like, ooh, maybe they'll actually do makeup on my face face? Who knows? Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, they did, no. though. Um, yeah. They, they had hair and makeup back. That's one thing I could say that won't spoil it. They had hair and makeup back. And right. it was great because yeah. um, I don't know what was with the, my hair in L.A., but it was a hot mess the whole week. <laughs> and so I got to the studio and uh, I was so relieved when they had hair people there, makeup people there. I'm like, oh, my God, work your magic because I can't go on stage like this. So it, I was very fortunate. <laughs> They, they made Dave and I do um, makeup together, and I maintained that that was the greatest moment for everybody working hair makeup, because they were like, these two are out of control, and it just got more and more sassy. <laughs> I, that, that's where we first pitched the Clue Crew. We pitched. We the, 100% we pitched, pitched the Clue Crew to hair and makeup. The Bro, yes, Bro, Bro Hawks as the Clue Crew to hair and makeup, oh, and Nicole's like, that I got awesome. goosebumps. <laughs> that would be that awesome. Amazing. Right. Thank you. We agree. See, we agree. <laughs> also, Jimmy and or Sarah, if you're ever watching this again, oh hi. <laughs> I think Thanks. Sarah's done with us. But Sarah's yeah. so done. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I am excited. I want to see this game. We, as good. as we, I don't know if you watched the episode with Matt, but we are going to try to let you talk. But we are pretty good at talking over people. As no, we're not. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I literally didn't get let TJ get anything in in the introduction. <laughs> that was the first. <laughs> so, it was like, I was like, ooh, let's, let's try this. Say. Where are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> All good. All right. No worries. All right. Well, Please. let's see what we can do here. Make some fun. So this was game four. Oh, yeah. So you're after lunch now, right? And you're already a little mm -hmm. tired. Yeah. We're not in the audience, Dave. Still These not there. Today's past champion, a marketing there manager. There's me. Oh. I'm obsessed like with that top. Yeah, oh. obsessed. Long Beach, Thank you. Brandon I'm not mad at Ooh. Steve Jobs over here, though. I, re I remember Brandon's name. Means New York, Nick Cascone. Yeah, nice. I, I mean, all right. He, 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 all right. I like this Long Beach like a Elizabeth Hall. Yeah, they're going to be good. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. And welcome back to Jeopardy. We are now three games into this round of our Champions Wildcard competition. Now, what, what podium so far, do you like, Emily? Of the I mean, everybody's been obviously been at the winner's podium. Close games, big scores. Well, I started I on the, like the middle. Nick, Brandon, <laughs> Emily, welcome back to the outside. Yeah. I only, I only did the middle when Champions. we were practicing, we and I was terrible on the buzzer, so I have like a categories. mental block about the middle. I've never been in the middle. The only one I've not been in. Huh. Insects. Yeah, I've been in all of them now, a so. Fancy. Then a world of crafts, no war. And finally, talk cleanly to me. Oh. See this again. We're in trouble. <laughs> ancient times for 200. Ancient Greeks believed that wine was a gift from this god, the Greek equivalent oh, of Bacchus. Okay. Good one. Nick, who is Dionysus. Yes. Uh, oh, ancient well, times for 400. Interesting pronunciation. I would think of the same thing. There, you would call <laughs> the astronomer Hipparchus the Colossus of this island. Nick, what is Rhodes? He worked on Rhodes. Ancient times for 600. Horrified by the carnage of war, Ashoka, a third century BC ruler in India, embraced this peaceful religion. Nick, what is Buddhism? Yes. Ancient times for 800. <laughs> Nick is very excited about this category. In team, the <laughs> Roman Emperor Julian sought to revive these types of cults and temples, from Latin for rustic. Ooh. Okay, that was pagan. Just me. 
cults. I thought that might be <laughs> like iconoclastic, <laughs> but I wasn't like. Of Paris was the mother of this great pyramid king. When her okay. tomb was found, mummy's mummy was missing. That's a terrible line. Yes. Or Khufu, you're correct. Uh, let's go to insects for 200. A variety of midge, a type of this, is believed to be the only insect species native to Antarctica. Brandon. What is a fly? It's a little fly, yeah. Uh, Come on, Elizabeth Holmes. I'm here for this. <laughs> 1993 from Hong Kong. Farewell, my blank. Again, Brandon, forgot what, what the category is. Right. Uh, oh, same. What, what are categories? 23. Oh, yeah. <laughs> blank is the warmest color. Oh, Brandon? Yeah. What is blue? Yeah. Chan Palm Door winners. Wow. So at this point... This. 2000. I am answer in the blank. Wow. You're like, what is this? It is dark. Panicking. And Palm Door yeah. was 400. Now, did you, when you blank, guys were practicing, did tape. you notice who was really Brandon, good on the what buzzer? Is sex lies. Well, correct. A little, uh, yeah. Yeah. Can Palm Door. Well, I guess, I guess what I'm saying is, were you, were you, blank was fiction. there any intimidation Brandon, from these you guys know, before you even well started, or did you feel like? I can't remember. Oh, maybe Brandon. I will. But Literally Nick surprised me. Is straight yeah. or this clean word? Nick, neat. what is neat? That's it. Talk That's got to gotta be so hard, Emily, because they both sort of run their categories right now. And now he gets a doble. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He didn't pull the head of oh, yeah. his uh, foreign film knowledge. He did. I'll but make it a true daily double. That would put you back. Okay. In the I, mean, I feel like Brandon's turtleneck and sort of affect just feels very icy right now. Like, it's like, I'm in charge of this. Adjective for <laughs> Hey, still not touched for the very first time. Nick? Can't think of it. That's oh, a shame. What is chaste? Chaste. Uh -huh. Chaste. Drops you down to zero. That was but, tough. Uh, you know what, though? Up. You and that was you're hard. tied again. It was hard. Yeah. I, From D it was last I don't know. I don't know that the clues in, in there pointed to chaste. There, was, there were references, was but nothing Insects. that was no. really a clue, I thought. The Madonna part was, yeah, not helpful. This 100 legged insect right. grows to 12 inches in length and eats lizards. Nick, what is the centipede? Peter and I got very mad about this. Six hundred. I, I can I can see I can see some frustration like in well, your yeah, face. You right like, did, did you take this break to like re revamp yeah. your thoughts? I I was more I was. I don't Are know you if it was. You were like lost one of the best parts of being a Jeopardy contestant is no, meeting other contestants, and that was true of you <laughs> as well. I mean, you got welcomed into a. A, a vast pantheon of Jeopardy. Oh yeah, I talk about OQL. The the wide world of trivia kind of opened up for me after I was on, and uh, we uh, actually formed an all women trivia group that, that were all on Jeopardy. So um, we have a great time. We love each other very much. I just want to give them a shout out because they're amazing. Nice. Does your Jeopardy sisterhood have a cool name? We do. Um, the family friendly version uh, from SNL Celebrity Jeopardy via Sean Connery is Let It Snow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for cleaning that up for, yeah. uh, for nice. the early evening time slot. Uh, they're yeah, very well excited to have gotten a shout out. Beach, California. Now, do you guys kick ass the guest host that pretty we do regularly? Jeopardy, right? You, got to you know what? We get there's better and better with each season. It's pretty time. exciting. Specifically in New York, I love that. Uh, at the time, he pretty was exciting. MVP, so I congratulate him on that. I also told him I was a big Jets fan, and he told me that he was a big fan Oof. of the recently hired coach of the Jets, Robert Sala. Ah. So as soon as the rumors start to came out that he was going to be traded potentially to the Jets, I thought, oh my God, do I have some inside knowledge here? So I was actually in uh, Medellin, Colombia at the time that he got traded, and I was wasting my whole data package just uh, <laughs> waiting to see if he was going to be <laughs> <laughs> It hasn't gone as uh, planned up till now, but, you know, hoping for a well, speed recovery. All right. I hope so, too. I, and maybe I one feel like an adventure. I was like, what? you were the one that got him thinking about the Jets. Yeah, I hope so. If you're watching, Aaron, he's sort of uh, this is our, our I, I like quality of, of the you, clubs right? bracket, yeah. but, but Nick maybe Nick also the big the the position right? assistant originally from Queens, and, and maybe a little bit of Aaron because that was a lot of sports for me to have to be uh, okay. pretending to be married right after a 45 year uh gap. Oh, we wow. never actually broke up. That's nice. It was just a break. Just asterisk. It was just a break. <laughs> Taking a break. And she, unlike the last time you were on, she got to be here today. Right? Yes, she's out there with my young son, and it's just uh, a thrill. They're to, really cute. To be doing it in front of them. They are so cute. For them to see me play. Awesome. Right. So this is amazing. That is adorable. Old pandemic era players. Yes. Not get High school sweethearts. Oh, except, you know, we're apart for 45 years, and they got back together. Back. Nick. That's, That's really nice. sweet. A category That's so cute. For us. That's right. I'm into it, but also I'm rooting for Emily. There are more than <laughs> 2,700 species of these cellulose-eating isopods, oh, sometimes called white ants. 
Nick, what are termites? Right. Insects for 800. So seriously, the internet got so mad about, they're like, centipedes aren't insects. I was like, you gotta let this go, baby. You let it go. I saw, I saw that. Brendan, what yeah. are the weevils? Right. Also a beverage 400. Three hole is one type of this piece of office equipment. Oh, I see. Nice. Punch, three hole punch. Right? <laughs> oh, for a I, I was like, who? Dripping with this Some thing. insects have this muscular organ in the digestive tract to grind food. Yeah. What is a gizzard? Yes, they have gizzards. There you go. <laughs> Finally Emily's got on it. The board. 600. With gizzard. Fantastic. With gizzard. gizzard. I'm an Oscar for writing this Ugh. 2008 Sean Penn film. Come on, milk. Milk. That's a beverage, too. Uh, also a beverage, 800. Got it's been used as a synonym for electric current since the 19th century. Right. Nick, what is juice? That's it. Also, a Emily, we know you know these. I just want to be very clear. <laughs> oh, that you know oh these. and being that's being almost worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> it gave me no no sucker <laughs> to to be like right, a, and yet also a beverage for 200. No, I had there was, there was for fairy, one in, in my semifinal game that was uh, about Futurama. And so many people that came to me like, what? like you knew that one, right? Like, yes. Right, let's try <laughs> because I didn't yes, get it. Yes, I can't mean, I get in. <laughs> I can't get R4 in. Means folding exactly. Paper, which is how the crane scene. It's so annoying because the people pretend as if, yeah, you're completely ignorant you're about it. And you, that's why you'll see so many of us dramatically <laughs> attempting to buzz. Useful in electronics <laughs> crafts. This process, similar to welding, yeah. joins oh, circuit. Also because I'm a theater kid, so it's fine. It'd be like, buzzing. But yeah. I have to perform it. Soldering? Yes. Uh, World of Crafts, No War, 600. A simple method of printing and duplicating uses these cutouts. Paint is sprayed through the removed areas. Nick. What is a stencil? That's it. I was like, that has to be the word stencil, right? From the French for to cut. I love how they did a, like the a graphic of, of decorating that. a surface with <laughs> I know. Nick. Decoupage. No. Brandon or Emily? You're close, but this is decoupage. Mm. Nick, three clues left. I'm Not very cool. I know decoupage. <laughs> nice. Your phrase, it precedes <laughs> as the driven snow. Emily. What is pure? Right. There you uh, go. There you go. Pure gizzard, the Emily White story. Describes Run it out. Run it out. <laughs> Spelled another, it's a toilet bowl cleaner. Nick. What is tidy? Tidy bowl, yes. World of crafts, no war for a thousand. Last clue. This I just got the title. Instead of a needle, developed in the uh, Emily. What is crochet? You are looking at crochet. Oh, That's TJ. correct. You have 2,200. All right. All right. Gizzard, 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 gizzard crochet, gizzard. baby. Yes, right. Doing it purely. Doing it. Pure gizzard crochet. All right. So I'm feeling a little bit better at this point. Not great. But it's competitive. Can salvage it. And yeah, the, the $3,000 or whatever that you're, that you're behind is so Baby quickly books. remedied in, in this round. Sands. So billions quickly, yeah. Billions and billions. Billions and billions. Of stars, <laughs> S-T-A-R in quotation marks. Well, that's a lot of Carl Sagan. Let's do quick cities for 1,200. Come on this now. 200 foot high monument to Columbus is on La Rambla. I was thinking Bogota, but I didn't yeah. feel confident. Back it's Barcelona. Barcelona. Quick cities, 1,600. I, I had no <laughs> idea and I just didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't <laughs> don't play. Play. Yes. Oh, if shit. You're in second place here, Emily. How much do you want to wager? Let's do it all. Letting it all yes. on Quick City. Do yes. it all. Come on, pure gizzard. To Hollywood North, it's about 1,100 miles north of the real thing. Hollywood North. What do you guys think? Emily? Vancouver? What is CF? No. No, more no, film production in it. Vancouver, oh, which is Vancouver. why I call it that. Nice. All right, uh, drops you down, but I had never heard that. Two thousand. I hadn't heard that either, but I do know that. I work in Hollywood, and, and I've never popular. heard that. Brenda, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Nineties music, eight hundred. This country superstars, friends and. Oh yeah, work. we're getting roasted for this right now. Look how dead his eyes look too. <laughs> Oh, y'all didn't get dead-eyed Garth Brooks? I assume we forget. That's Chris Gaines. And no, Garth we all Brooks. were I, kind of like, uh, couldn't. Uh, You're not going to get roasted by me. Singer. She hit a big in 1994. I, I, I admire you for not, not knowing that. Brenda, Twain. No. I'm going to be haunted by that. Look. That's correct. There we go. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> there, see, she did it. Seattle Band's 1991 debut album was titled 10 for the uniform number. This was my Andy favorite Blair, category. Funky Blaylock. Emily. Uh, who's Pearl Jam? Yeah, the band was originally called Monkey Blaylock. Uh, 1600 90s music. 
And that it might contain life. Nick. What are oceans? Right. Carl Sagan for 1200 It was Sagan's award-winning PBS TV show about the universe. Emily. Yeah. What is Cosmos? That's the show. Uh, there you go. Come on, Emily. 1200 Baby Catcher is the chronicles of a modern one of these. I like, midwife? <laughs> She's a modern midwife. <laughs> uh, 90s music, 2000. Woo, neck what? was the first single by this hip hop group with a martial arts themed name. Yes. Emily. It's Wu Tang Clan. Wu Tang Forever, yes. You know what? You're my favorite person. You gotta say Wu Tang Clan on Geo Party. I know, right? <laughs> One billion of these. For the children, <laughs> baby. Wu Tang is for the children. It's a nanosecond? Right. Cool. Uh, nice. 1200 billion. ODB was not wrong. Begun in 1960, <laughs> the construction of this high dam on the Nile cost about $1 billion. It was the Oswan High Dam. Yes. Billions and billions, 800. A report said more than 225 billion of these annoying four-letter texts were sent in 2022. The FCC is on it. Emily? Or yes. spam texts? You got it. Uh, yes! Stars for 800. Look how high your score is right now, Emily. Still objects I know. You that I was feeling pretty good. Jesus. Oh, people got mad about this on the internet, too. Billions and billions for of two thousand. They, they were like, the Star of Bethlehem isn't in the Bible. I'm like, girl, nobody said it was in the Bible. It was forced to right? pay its neighbor five billion francs in reparations. Brandon. What is the Franco-Prussian War? That's the war. Uh, baby books, 800. That's a lot of francs. Please, baby, <laughs> please, is a kid's book from this director of She's Gotta Have It. Really? Why, why is Spike Lee writing <laughs> kid's books? Spike Lee? Yes. <laughs> I, I, of Star's 12. Very why, why isn't he writing more <laughs> kid's books? Of the class Asteroidia. Fair. Starfish. Emily. What is a starfish? Correct. Um, a Look at you! <laughs> Asteroidia! Five, this Jeffersonless Grace <laughs> this is... group had a number one hit with. You better starship it, girl. Uh, <laughs> starship. No. Uh, they, oh, the air... starship. They were starship by that time. I put the Jefferson on it. For 16 uh, a 1990 photo brutal. of Earth taken by this space probe. Very much so. Sagan to call All right, you still built this city for us. Dot. <laughs> Nick. What is Voyager? Correct. Carl Sagan for food 2000. Answer there. He you got, got the dough blade. You have a chance to make a move here. You can see the scores. Uh, make it two daily doubles. Problem. All right, that would do it. Here's your clue in Carl Sagan. Sagan co authored a 1983 scientific paper that predicted that this climate condition. Uh, uh, winter? This felt winter. easy for 2000. That is but good. I agree. I agree. Oh, They're all easy when you you know them. <laughs> they were not that good of a metal band, in case anybody remembers. Cubic these in a cubic meter. Nick, what is a cubic millimeter? Correct. Uh, of stars. Of course. The movable barrier where a horse race begins. Emily, what is a starting gate? Yes. Uh, nice. I forgot about stars. Estimated that in World War II, <laughs> the European edition of this U.S. military newspaper oh, there you topped go. a million that, in circulation. That doesn't seem like a 2000. Nick, what is stars either. and stripes? Correct for 2000. Baby books for. I didn't know it. Later <laughs> editions of this novel have included a chapter of its rumored sequel, Buttercup's Baby. I Nick, have that. What is the Princess Bride? Yes. I was gonna say the autobiography yeah. of Malcolm X. Host <laughs> annual Campeonato Mundial de Baile de Tango. Brandon. What is Buenos Aires? Good. Quick that was a brave attempt at Spanish. It's yes. with a type of light yellow brown envelope. <laughs> Nick. Uh, Manila. Manila. Yes. Baby books for 1600. She's not sure if the father is Mark Darcy or Daniel Cleaver. Uh, In this case, oh, baby. The Bridget daughter. Jones. Emily. Yeah, Who's except that? Elizabeth Bennett. No. Oh. I saw uh, I saw Darcy and went. Different Darcy yeah, here. That's yeah. Bridget Jones's baby. And the last clue in baby books. So yeah. This 1981 novel by Toni Morrison takes place on a Caribbean island. None of us knew this. Yeah. That's Tar Baby. All right. Yeah. Nick, that's All right. Fat little blind spot. Final Jeopardy. It helped. I mean, yeah. It's important, of course. Today it will be historic. If oh. I'd gotten that wrong, then they would have kicked me out of being the director of Africana <laughs> Studies, and I've been like, I'm sorry, guys. I'll leave. I'll leave quietly. <laughs> All right. So how did you? 
what did you feel about that when you it saw was the category? In family. Every night it was. Ah, uh, it could be anything. Uh, yeah. Was my my thought, and so basically I was just like, you know what? We get the same amount whether it's second or third, and I'm not gonna yeah. catch Nick probably, so I'm just gonna bet it all. Whatever. That's what I did. Yep. yep. That, that, is, that is a fun thing about the, about the tournaments. You're like, you don't have to play for second and third. Oh, right. It's just right. All, all or nothing. Let's show our yeah. champs the right. The inscription on this, made in 1753, concludes, unto all the inhabitants thereof. 30 seconds. Good luck. All right. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Now I'm rethinking it. <laughs> oh, I rethought this several times. I don't I've think I've gone through four things right now, and I don't like. I that. know, right? I don't oh. think I write down my response until like fully until. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. I, ha I haven't, I haven't, I haven't decided. <laughs> it could I don't be. Think it's right. It could be a few things. Yeah. yeah. But I'm like, I, I, I need to I put something good. down. So. I don't feel good. going into final. Her response. What is the Liberty Bell? This was my guess. Correct. Ah, yeah. Nice. Proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto. Oh, I'm so glad because that was my guess. I was like, this has to be the Liberty Bell, maybe. In fact, you'll double it. You well, know, and being in the Philly media, media market, I was like, second place, yeah. two thousand two hundred. Did he come up with the Liberty Bell? What is Whoa! Coming? Thanks for coming back. We loved having you. Unfortunately, we're gonna take some money away. You wagered. 199 dropping you down to oh. 4,000. Oh. 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 So he just edges oh. me out. We come up with the Liberty Bell. He oh. did. What is the Liberty Bell? Love you guys. So you're going to add to that. You wagered 6201 and you're 24,401. Oh, go. what a roller coaster. <laughs> wow. no. There's also no normal way to respond to that advance at the semifinals, Brad, because like I look insane. You just look quietly resigned like we told you you're being murdered, Dave. Like you're like and I'm just like <laughs> so that was that was I was one. trying not to cry. <laughs> oh, you lost her. Oh finally. Uh oh. Right. Well, let's stop this. Hopefully, she she'll back come so we back. Can say goodbye to her. <laughs> oh my goodness, we don't want that. Yeah, fingers crossed that Emily will re-enter. Oh, Emily's back. Oh, good. Sorry. Just in time. No, you're fine, baby. We're glad you're back. My Zoom kicked me off for some reason. It said oh. my internet is unstable, which Our... I doesn't really have any reason to be. My We're all unstable. unstable. Yeah, there we go. We both true. <laughs> it's a, it's a mood. It's a mood. Yeah. Well, oh. that was a heck of a game. That was. A good I game. really thought you were going to pull a good it out. Game. I thought those two were going to cancel each other out, and you slipped in there. Too. That was exciting, nonetheless. And you did amazing, Emily. Right? You did. You absolutely did everything that you could in that moment, and you, you, you just absolutely right. I also, I hope that that it feels like I, we've been talking about this. And I'm going to shout you out, Jelana Cotter. I love you so much, baby, right? But there's this sense of, like, so many people in our group chat, like, you have this feeling where you forget how well you do. You just imagine you didn't get anything right. But, like, just want to be real clear. Oh, like, yeah. You, you were killing it in Double right. Jeopardy. And I think that you you really, it's easy to remember all the ones you didn't answer or were boxed out of. But you clearly were in charge of a lot of that as you were going into it. You should feel really good. It yeah, I watching especially double jeopardy back. Yeah, single jeopardy watching that back was um a little painful. <laughs> but double watching it back, I definitely felt a lot better. So Yeah, well I mean oh, but hello. that's I mean that's the admiral admirable thing is that you you were getting boxed out so much. Obviously you knew a bunch of those responses yeah. but couldn't get in there and you know, got through your frustration in the first break, got some and, mm -hmm. and, and came, you know, so that by the end of single jeopardy, you were very close and then, you know, just stormed up there in double jeopardy. Uh, that was very impressive. Like a boss. Yep. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you gotta, gotta do it. You're in the game. So for sure. But anyway, the whole experience was so great and the game, you know, that was just one part of it. Mm -hmm. Um, Exactly. You know, the whole week transcended that game. You know, Absolutely. even I think even if I had won, uh, what was more important was getting to go back and to be with people. Yes. Right. That and was it's definitely. So, 
this has been the crazy thing, right? Has been I've been hearing people from previous seasons before 37, 38 say like, well, when is it our turn? Why don't we get to come back? And I was like, I'm not in charge of any of those things. I just would say <laughs> that one thing, the reason why it's us is that you had a normal Jeopardy experience and we most mm. assuredly did not, right? Like we mm-hmm. got to be on a show. We got to do this thing. Alex died. Then there were a panoply of continuous guest hosts and nobody could touch anybody, and we had a crusty powder puff, right? And there's this <laughs> sense of, like, we had this, so, I, I feel like everybody that's been on, and us, and, and us included, like, there's this sense of, we have this new feeling of how we can relate to the show, where we got to do camaraderie and, and have community in a way that I don't think we got to have last time. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. It was, it was a second chance not just to play, but to actually do the experience over again so uh, everybody was great um you're getting five more amazing uh quarterfinal games and then you'll get your semifinal games i promise you they're all as nail biting and exciting as the ones you've seen already it was so fun and the best part i think was watching the games in the green room because it's Mm -hmm. like having a jeopardy watch party with the biggest nerds absolutely um amazing Mm -hmm. just amazing We 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 shot well, CJ and I both shot on Wednesday of our week. So Tuesday yeah. we just sat in the audience and we had a great right. time doing that. But then Wednesday, even though there was the pressure of when are they going to call us, it was also like, oh, we get to talk, we get to say whatever we want, we get to mm-hmm. yell when somebody does something amazing, <laughs> and uh, right, and that was just super enjoyable. Yeah. Right, exactly. Uh-huh. No, it was it was amazing. So really, really happy that they gave me that chance um you know i i went alone because this guy was sick um he's better now but uh my fiance uh, stayed back and took care of him uh-huh. um so it was even better that there was so much camaraderie because you know i didn't feel alone in la i was able to spend time with contestants and um and uh and get to know everybody even the people i knew before and the people i hadn't met before so that's awesome. Oh, what a ride. And, what, and, um, and I guess my part of it is over, but the clubs um, are, are are continuing on. Tonight is a really good game. Um, Kit Sikelski was on my first tape day. Um, and she plays tonight. Uh, and she plays Leah and Henry. And uh, it's, a, it's a barnstormer of a game. I'm, I'm right. looking forward to watching it. <laughs> and, and i'm pretty sure Again. we're gonna have kit on tomorrow so it'll be fun to sort of like be able nice. to talk about this yeah so yeah, i love it <laughs> i love oh, it well, go ahead i was just say what a treat emily what an absolute joy to have you here with us um we will firmly agree that of uh, uh being that the clubs are an amazing second best bracket we're so excited that you get to be here with us but no seriously you and matt and everybody we've watched has just been an absolute an absolute joy. We're really excited that you get to, you know, be nerds on the YouTubes with us. It's pretty cool. I am so happy you had me. Uh, excited to nerd out with you and um, have fun. I'll be watching the rest of the recaps. <laughs> awesome. Yay. All right. Thanks Thank so much you. for being here. Yeah. All right. Bye. Take care, Bye, y'all. Everybody. Have a good night. <laughs> Bye.